to acknowledge the sin, but to pray for the sinner. Amen? We need to pray that God will change your mind. I know it's possible because when I was in the Philippines, I led many homosexuals to the Lord. And I took them back to where they first decided they were a homosexual. And it always ended up there, there was either an old gay homosexual or an old relative that they had an authority over them that trained them. And if you track it back with these other folks, it'll be the same thing. Amen? There is deliverance from all kind of sin. Amen? Amen. Now, the last time I said something like this, and we put my video up on Facebook, uh, Facebook took it down after the first day. They didn't like me talking about homosexuality being a sin, but the Word says it is, and I just preach the Word. Amen. He says we can prove what is that good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. God's will is what God wants from the believer here and now. That which is good is that which leads to spiritual and moral growth of the Christian. Acceptable or pleasing is that which pleases God and not necessarily us. God's perfect will is complete. It cannot be improved. It's exactly what He wants for you and what He wants out of us. Yes. This morning as we come to a close, let's commit ourselves to discovering God's will for our lives. And if we know God's will, then let us endeavor to be sure we please God in every aspect of it. There's no better place than being in the will of God. Amen. When you are, all the resources of God are at your disposal. Amen. All His grace, all His mercy, all His peace. When you're in the will of God, it's all there for you. My brother's coming.